Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's going on, people? <laughs> Woo! What's going on, people? It is going to be a scorcher day. It was been 92 or 91 yesterday. God bless those people who's in that tornado. I know you're going through it. My heart goes out to you. <sighs> we never know how much we can lose within an instant. Of course, I know what it's like because I was inside of a fire and I lost all my furniture and stuff in my fire and stuff like that. So I know what it's like to lose everything and start over. It's funny when you don't really pay anything to mind, like the candle, the candle opener and all these little small things. And when they're all gone, it's like, it's just gone. And you have to start off from scratch, basically nothing. It's like start all over again, you know, and it's a horrible, horrific experience. So my prayers and my heart goes out to you and the um, you know, the hurricanes and everything that's going out there to y'all, which is so sad. Anyway, that being said, what's going on, people? To a higher note, um, I know I've been in hiatus. I have not been, you know, talking to videos too much and stuff like that. I've been, oh, I think I'm catching a cold, which I was sneezing in a couple other videos, stuff like that. I've been kind of like in a little pain, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that being said, what's going on? So, have you ever met somebody in person and you thought they were so fine? When you got a good look at them, you're like, this guy is so fine, but I'm not attracted to him. Like, it's nothing about him or her attracts you to them. But they are very attractive, you know, but it's nothing there. Now, have you ever saw somebody that you thought was really cute that you would have turned out? <laughs> Woo, let me stop. I'm a mess. Anyway takes me back to the middle. I'll tell you about the story about the guy that was at the store that had a crush but I would never walk into him, which I did not walk into him, which I never did. Anyway, that being said, I know with most girls, stuff like that, like I thought was asking, so how do you walk around the house? You know, and it's like, do you have on, not, you know, lingerie and stuff like that? Do girls do that? Do you girls to walk around the house with lingerie? I'm not talking, I'm, let's be real, real here. Don't give me no bullshit. Oh, girl, Victoria's Secret, all this other bullshit, bitch. Do you walk around the fucking house with Mr. Doolally just swinging all in the front instead of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, instead of twirling? Do you just let her hang or you just be like, oh, girl, I just come 24-7 a day? <laughs> girl. Mm. Anyway, I'm just saying because God be asking to be like, well, wait a minute, you know what you got on? I got a pair of tights and a t-shirt. It's like, oh, bitch, you just hood all the time. <laughs> It is what it is. I'm not, mm -mm, no. I'm not the kind of bitch you're going to show up and stuff like that. And you're going to see me and I'm going to be in this lingerie. Hello, darling. No, bitch. This is Ripley, believe it or not. <laughs> you may not believe it. <laughs> but it is a funny. Anyway, that being said, don't pay me no mind. But I'm just saying, you know, I don't walk around the house, you know, all snatched up in the back. I just let it hang. You know, some girls do, some girls don't. Some girls wear one pair of panties, some girls wear six, you know, when they go outside. Some girls do, you know, you do what you gotta do at the end of the day. You know, and we live our life that we feel as though it's gonna be comfortable, that fits us, suits us. But when it comes to being in the house, no, I'm not gonna do it. You know, and I watch some girls, you know, and some girls got it very perfectionally done, honey. It's so fabulously done, but not me, I don't bother. I think it is what it is, and at the end of the day, uh, anyway. <laughs> It is going to be a scorching day. As you see, I got my little sloppy, loppy shirt on, and my titties are just like swelling. It is so hot. I had my air conditioning, both of them pumping. It was so freezingly cold inside here. It's so funny. <laughs> and no matter how cold it is, when it when the air conditioning goes off, honey, a couple of hours later, that motherfucker's hot as hell because it's never on. Anyway, I just want to know, are you the kind of girl who walks around the house who always have to be dressed up 24-7? Like, you always have to, like, you live this catalog. Like, girl, it's always lingerie, and I don't know. Now, I would say, I'm not even going to say if I had a man, because if I had a man, I still wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. And due to the fact that I'm on my I Hate Men tour, um, <laughs> it don't seem to be ending. So I don't feel the need to dress up for you. Now, if I ever find that man who was, like, really, really sweet, and I have no problem doing that, you know. It's not like I won't do it. It's not like, oh, wow, you know. If a man came across and he made me, Hell, if you was the kind of man who just cut a couple of dollars. But then again. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I miss y'all. I know this video is like always to the left. And you're like, bitch, what do you mean? 
Walk around tucked in the house now, bitch. Yeah, girl. Mm, no, mm, mm, no. Ooh, that's nasty. Girl, never. <laughs> and I know some girls are going to lie. They'll be like, girl, yes. But anyway, I just want to know, have you ever went outside and you were out? I know this is like way too little, but I just want to know. I'm just I'm a, I'm a nosy bitch. Have you ever got outside one day and you shifted and your tuck came untucked? Like you knew in the panties that something blew. It's like, oh my God, that's not what I think it is. But you're like, oh my God, I know what this happened. That's what I'm going to tell you girls what to do. You always bring a pocketbook that comes all the way down to here, midriff. You know, they got to kind of go over your neck and stuff. It's like a book bag. So what you do is you buy one of those pocketbooks. This is when you go and hang out when you go into the stores, the laundry, whatever the kids. Don't give one of them big old pocketbooks where you got to walk look. Like, girl, what you like you hot? You put the pocketbook on. It's almost like a hunting gear. You just put it on. You just walk with it. Your hands are free. You just walk with it. She's a pop, 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 pop. She's a pop, pop, pop. She's a pop all in the front. <laughs> Well, honey, nobody knows that Jiffy done popped the coin. But anyway, it is what it is. I know, I'm just saying. It's just a suggestion. You don't have to do it. You can just be the kind of bitch you say, oops, and just oops it. But then again, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to get out this bag because it's a little hot. You know, your big sister's a fucking mess. Anyway, I just want to know, how do you girls deal with it when you just move and shift in a certain spot? About to get on the bus. And, uh, about to get on the train. And, uh, well, how do you deal with it? <laughs> And then you think everybody's looking because they is. They're like, oh, my looking stars. Someone, marbles have fallen out the bag. <laughs> anyway, I know, y'all. But you, you can't get mad, you know. But this is everyday life, and it is what it is. Anyway, I love you. Thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing. And I'm going to get out this bag because it's really fucking hot. And I want you to do you. I want you to do you the best way you can. And if nobody don't like it, then... Fuck them.